In this video, we will create an AI chatbot on WhatsApp. And this chatbot will be trained on a custom knowledge base document and can automatically answer questions from your customers. And at the end, I will even give you the template for free so that you can copy and paste it. And in order to create our WhatsApp chatbot, we will be using BotPress, which is also the sponsor of this video. And I'm basically using BotPress because of three reasons. The first reason is that they have a lot of built-in AI tools. So you can build your AI knowledge base, you can have automatic translation, you can understand images, and you can also determine what AI model you want to use. So you can choose between OpenAI, you can use Claude, and they even have more options. The second reason is that they have a very good free plan. So you can just get started for free and then pay as you go. And the last reason is that they have a one-click WhatsApp integration. So this allows you to connect your BotPress chatbot to WhatsApp in less than one minute. So to get started with this, you can just go to chatomize.com slash BP, and this will bring you directly to the BotPress website. And then here you can just click on sign up, and then you can create your own BotPress account. I already have a BotPress account, so I will just click on login. And then here I am inside my BotPress workspace, and then here you need to click on new bot. And once you do that, BotPress will automatically create a new bot for you. So now my bot has been created and then we can just click on open in studio and then here you're going to choose whether you want to use a template or whether you want to start from scratch. In this video I just want to show you how you can build this from scratch. So we are going to choose for start from scratch and then click on use template. And now my bot has been successfully created. So in this video we will create an AI chatbot that will be trained on a custom knowledge base document. And once it has been trained on that it can automatically answer questions about your business. So the first thing that we will do is that we will create a knowledge base inside BotPress. Then after that, we will create the chatbot flow that will automatically answer questions from your customers. So here in BotPress, here you can click on default knowledge base. And then here you can add information to your knowledge base. So you can add your website, tables, rich text, documents, like all of that stuff. And here I have a custom knowledge base document of an e-commerce business, and I will just be using an e-commerce business as an example, but this will actually work for any type of business. You can just change the content of this document to your specific business, and then it can automatically answer questions about your business as well. So this document contains general information about returns, it contains information about delivery, about warranty, like the default stuff for an e-commerce business. So what you can do is you can go to BotPress, click on document, and then just upload that document here. And then click on confirm. And then BotPress will train itself on the contents of this document. So that's basically the first thing that we will do. And the second thing that we will do is we will add some rich text. So with rich text, I often add custom instructions for the chatbot. And in this case, I want to add how the chatbot should respond when someone is greeting the chatbot. So I'll just copy this from my second screen. But here we say, if someone greets the chatbot, please respond with, hey, I'm the chatbot of e-commerce biz. How can I help you today? please type in your question below. So that's currently done. And you can also see that BotPress has already trained itself on the document. So now our AI knowledge base should be working correctly. So we can move over to create our chatbot flow. So to create our chatbot flow in BotPress, you can just click to main. And then inside the main flow, uh, already a lot of stuff is added. So we can just delete all of this. And then we basically have the start node and we have the end node. Well, the start node basically triggers every time someone sends a message to your BotPress chatbot. And what you want to do is that every time someone sends a message, we send it to the knowledge base. And then if the knowledge base has an answer to their question, then we send the answer back. If it doesn't have the answer to the question, then we say, sorry, but uh, I cannot help you. Please send an email. So what we can do over here is you can drag this and then click on standard node and then click on add card. And then here you need to scroll down until you see the query, the knowledge base. And inside the knowledge base, now we can basically query like send the question to the knowledge base. And then here's the query is basically the thing that we are sending to it. And here you want to send the message that someone has sent. So in order to do that, you can just type in two brackets and then event.payload.text. And event.payload.text basically contains the message that someone has sent to your BotPress chatbot. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is that we need to store the answer of the knowledge base inside a variable. So to do that, we first should create a variable. So here, if you go to all variables, then you can click on the plus here. 
And then we will set the scope to workflow, the type to string, and we will call this knowledge base response. And then click on add. And then here we can use that variable. So we can just click on this. So what this will do is that it will send a question to the knowledge base. And if it has an answer, uh, then it will uh, put the answer inside this variable. And then you also need to determine in what knowledge bases you want to search. So in this case, we only have one, but here you can just click on select all. So the next thing that we should do is that we should check whether the knowledge base has an answer. So in order to do that, we can add a expression. So you can click on add card here. And then here you can choose for expression. And then inside the expression, you can determine uh, what you want to check. So you can basically do an if then check. Like if this is true, then do this. If this is not true, then do something else. And this is pretty technical in BotPress and BotPress knows this. So you can basically just type in what you want to check and then BotPress will create the condition for you. So in this case, we can say check if workflow.knowledgebase response has any value and then we can hit enter once we do that BotPress creates the condition for us and i know that this is not entirely true like this is not the correct condition so uh, we should change this to check if workflow dot knowledge base response has any value and is not null and is not undefined so then we have all the options then we hit enter again and then it gives all the options. So it checks whether it's not null, it checks whether it's not undefined, and it checks whether it doesn't have any value. So that's what it does. Uh, so if it has any value, then we want to provide the answer to the customer. But if it doesn't have a value, so we don't know the answer, then we say, sorry, but I don't know the answer to your question. So in order to do that, we can just add a text here. And this text will say, sorry, but I don't know the answer to your question. Please send an email to info at e-commerce biz and someone from our team can answer it for you. So that's basically how that works. And then if it does know the answer, there are basically two options. So we can add a card here. And there are basically two options. Either the user is sending a greeting and says, hey, how are you doing? And then the bot should respond with, hey, I'm the chatbot of e-commerce biz. Or a customer is asking a question and we should give the answer to that question. Like those are the two options. So the first thing that we should do is we should check whether someone is greeting us or whether he's asking a question. So in order to do that, again, we can add an expression here and I will get this one. And then inside this expression, we should check the answer from the knowledge base response. So here we can say, check if workflow dot knowledge base response contains and then we should check whether it contains like the greeting of our chatbot so we can check this uh, inside uh, the default knowledge base here so if it contains hey i'm the chatbot of e-commerce biz then we know that that it is about a greeting so if it contains this and hit enter so now we check workflow dot knowledge base response includes and then if it includes that what we then want to do, we only want to send basically the greeting. So what we do here, we add a standard note with a text, and then we say workflow dot knowledge base response. So then it basically says this text that we set over here basically says, Hey, I'm a chatbot of e-commerce biz. How can I help you? Yeah. The other option is that it knows the answer to a question. So in that case, you basically want to give the answer to the question and you want to ask, if it answered their question, because you always want to ensure a good customer experience. So that's what we do over here. We add another card, and this is basically the same. So we can add workflow.knowledgebase response, and then we can add a question. So then we should ask a question with, hey, does this answer your question? And in order to do that, you can scroll down, and then here we have capture information, and we have the raw input. So we can ask, does this, answer your question and then we can add two buttons so you can click on advanced configuration and then click on choice and then here we can add two items we can add yes it does or we can add no i need help like those are the two options if someone replies with yes it does then we can say i will just copy this from my second screen great if you have any more questions, 
feel free to ask them here. That's it. If they say, no, I need help, then we send them another text. And then we say, please send an email to info at e-commerce biz and we are happy to help. So that's basically how that works. And then we also need to connect this small thing to the first thing. So what now happens is that it gives the response and then it asks the question, okay, does this answer your question? But people can choose one of these two buttons, but they can also choose to just ask another question. And when that happens, it needs to be set to this standard note one to send again to the query knowledge base. So that's basically how it works. So basically we send each message to the knowledge base. If it has an answer, we send the answer. If it is a greeting, then we send the greeting. And if it does know the answer, then we say, sorry, but I don't know the answer to your question. So it's just one thing that we need to add. It now can happen that if you have a question, it gives the response. But if you ask the second question and it doesn't know the answer to that question, the knowledge base response variable is still filled with the answer to the first question. So we should actually empty the knowledge base response variable on each message. And in BotPress, you can do that by using code. So here you can click on add card and then here you have uh, execute code. And I also don't like coding that much, but with BotPress is so great because you can just ask BotPress AI to create the code. So here you can say empty the workflow dot knowledge base response variable and then again hit enter and then that's working so i accept the changes click on close and that is working so at each message we empty the knowledge base response variable and then we send the question to the knowledge base and if it has an answer then we check it so what we can do now is we can go to the emulator and we can click here on test your bot and then automatically says hi so then we say hey i'm the chapel of e-commerce biz then we can say what is your return policy Then it gives the return policy. Does this answer your question? I say, yes, it does. And then it says, great. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them here. Uh, then we can ask another question. So we, we can say, uh, what are your delivery terms? And it says, if you create an order before it's free, it will be shipped to the warehouse. Does this answer your question? No, I need help. And then that's working as well. So this is basically working a very simple AI chatbot that you can create with WordPress. So the next step that we can do is we need to add this to WhatsApp. So in order to do that, we can go here to integrations, then search for WhatsApp, click on this and then click on install integration. And then this integration will be installed. Then here you need to enable the integration and then you need to click on authorize WhatsApp. So you can click on yes here, and then this will open up your Facebook. So here you need to log in with your Facebook account. So I will with, continue with Joran. Then I click on get started. And then you need to choose what meta business you want to connect this to. So I already have a meta business. If you don't, you can just create a new one. In this case, I will just go with Chatomize, click on next. And then here I have a WhatsApp business account, which is called Chatamai Support that I will use. If you don't have anything, you can just click on create a WhatsApp business account and then you can just create one yourself. When you're creating a WhatsApp business account and a WhatsApp business profile, it's very important that you add the same name as the company name. WhatsApp is very strict on this. So if you add like a completely different name than the name of your company, it will probably say, well, you cannot do that. So in this case, I go with Chatamai Support. So I will go with create a new WhatsApp business profile and then click on next. Then here I need to fill in the business display name. So again, this needs to be the same as the name of your company. Select the category, which is in my case, education, then click on next again. And then here you need to add your number. I always recommend buying a new number that you have physical access to. And this number needs to be able to either uh, receive a SMS message or receive a phone call. So here I click on add our new existing number. I'll just add the number that I have. And then I would like to verify this number with text message. So now Meta is sending me a verification code via text message. So I will just fill in the verification code, click on next, and then click on continue. And then it is verifying my information. And now that is working. So now I can just click on finish and the authentication is successful. So I can just close this 
And now basically my BotPress chatbot is connected to WhatsApp. So now I will show you how this looks on WhatsApp. So here I'm in WhatsApp and I've just called this contact the BotPress chatbot. So that's because I've set this contact uh, in my phone in this way. And then we can say, hey there. And then it says, hey, I'm the chatbot of e-commerce biz. How can I help you today? Please type in your question below. And then I can say, what is your return policy? And then it says you can return your order within 14 days after delivery. The return fees are at your own expense. Does this answer your question? So then we can say, yes, it does. And then it says, great, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them here. And now we can also ask another question. So we can say, when will my order be delivered? And then it says, if you create an order before three, it will be shipped from our warehouse. And then if we say, does this answer your question? We say, no, I need help. Then it says, please send an email to info at e-commercebiz and we are happy to help. And as last, I can also ask a question that is not related to our business. So for example, who is Elon Musk? And then it says, sorry, but I don't know the answer to that question. Please send an email to info at e-commercebiz and someone from our team can answer it for you. And that's it. That's how you can create a WhatsApp chatbot with BotPress. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on creating WhatsApp chatbots or on using BotPress, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.